Are you a coach striving to boost your income and have it feel easier? Welcome to the second video on how to improve retention and revenue focusing on the challenge of client renewals. It's much easier to sell to existing clients and new ones. But what can we do when a client achieves an incredible transformation yet they don't renew with you or recommend your services? Hi, I'm Deb King, co-founder of the Wisdom Playground, where we work with coaches to overcome the struggles of growing their businesses with a focus on simplicity, ease and well-researched strategies. In the first video, we highlighted clients often don't renew because they've forgotten the value, using the metaphor that when your clients turn into that beautiful butterfly, they forgot what happened in the cocoon and despite a brilliant transformation, they move on. In this video, we explore one of the tools you can use to help your clients remember the value of the journey in the cocoon with you. And this is understanding tangible and intangible progress measures. Leveraging these will help your clients see their journey far more clearly and they'll want to sign up with you again and again because of the value that you bring. So to clarify, what are tangible and intangible progress measures? A tangible measure is something we can measure like body weight on the scales, a qualification achieved, or an amount of cash received. It's black and white. While an intangible measure is more subjective, such as improving leadership skills, feeling happier, or being more confident. Traditionally, we're taught that when clients set goals or share their desired future, we must turn this into a tangible goal or more specifically a SMART goal, SMART being specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time bound. Now, as much as SMART goals can be useful, attempting to make all client goals tangible or SMART can strip away a dimension of the goal that's actually motivational. It also means we miss out on many relevant distinctions that are useful for the client to see and feel their progress. For example, if a client wants to feel healthier, we might set some tangible measures around blood pressure and weight, but it's really useful to check in on their progress towards other things, which could be energy levels, sleep quality, feeling comfortable in their body and enjoying the journey. We also know that goal achievement isn't linear. There's ups and downs, and sometimes clients fall short of their specific goals, while other times they exceed them. In these situations, tangible goal measurement tools can be demotivating for our clients. As coaches, we are the lens that shapes our clients' journeys. It's essential to acknowledge these ups and downs, provide perspective, and demonstrate to our clients the valuable growth and learning they're gaining through each part of their journey. It's common for a client to not make tangible progress towards their goal, but make progress in many intangible areas. When these intangible areas are acknowledged, it's far more motivating that the client can feel great about their journey, even if they've not achieved the tangible measure yet. So how do we do this? We create a range of simple, meaningful, multi-dimensional measurement tools. And for starters, three simple areas to measure are action, progress, and emotion. So action, do they feel like they're in motion and taking necessary action? Progress, what is their observation of their progress? Emotion, how are they feeling about their journey so far? When we can craft these multi-dimensional measurement tools and apply them regularly with our clients, magic happens. They witness their journey through their head and heart and we get to reflect back our observations, teaching them increasing levels of awareness that can help them see their transformation far more vividly and they celebrate no matter where they are. One action that you can take right now is review how you go about goal setting and tracking with your clients. What progress are you currently tracking? Test what happens when you add in the three additional areas starting to track action, progress and emotion with your client goals. That's video two. Stay tuned for the next one where we'll introduce a game changing additional set of measures that you can create for your clients to have them observe their progress and transformation way beyond what they thought was possible. For real results, remember to get into action. If you're looking to take your coaching business to the next level, we're here to help. Book a free 4-hour review session and we can explore a plan with practical steps to improve your results, retention, referrals and revenue. Please also like, share and subscribe for more insightful content. We believe in your potential as a coach and we know these strategies will contribute to, to your growth and success. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in video 3, How to Improve Retention and Revenue.